Hey guys, I hope you're all good. So I was literally just recording another video about um, androgenic alopecia and pattern hair loss in males and females. And um, it just reminded me that I'd not spoken about the phases of the hair growth cycle in such a long time. Um, like I've done a video a couple of years ago about it, but I thought it'd be good to create another video about it and then you can actually be able to put into context, like if you have um, either of those um, conditions, I mean, they're the same thing, so not either. So if you have that condition of androgenic alopecia or pat and pattern hair loss, same thing they both are, um, then you can put into context, like at what stage of the hair growth cycle you're more affected. So I've got all my notes on my phone because I keep forgetting um, the four the four phases. So the first phase is anagen, which is a growing. I'm gonna, right, wait, let me start again. I'm gonna go through all the phases individually after um, and explain them in a bit more detail, but there's four stages of the hair growth cycle and it doesn't just apply to the hair on your scalp. It applies to like hair across the whole of your body. Um, but just bear in mind that each of your hair follicles, your hair strands, whatever, they're at different stages of the cycle. So not one part of your hair um, compared to the other will be at the same area of the, of the cycle. Same stage of the cycle. Right, so let's get started. So we've got the anagen stage, which is first, and that is the growing phase. Then we've got the catagen stage, which is the transition um, phase. Then we've got telogen, which is your resting phase. And then fourthly, exogen. Exo I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm gonna go exogen. It's spelled E-X-O-G-E-N. I've probably butchered that, haven't I? But anyway, that's the last stage of the cycle and that's um, the shedding phase. So, just to go into like a bit more detail about each of the phases. So the first one, the anagen um, phase, which is your growing phase of the cycle. Um, if you have, pattern hair loss, androgenic alopecia. This is the part of the cycle which we are mostly affected by. So um, because it's the stage between the last one, which I couldn't pronounce, <laughs> and this part, um, it basically takes us longer for our hair to grow back after it's fallen out. And so once it's fallen out, the hair follicles shrink as well, and your hair comes back thinner. So even though it may grow back, it just grows back thinner and say for example if it takes like on average i'm just plucking these numbers out of thin air right so if it takes an average say six months for someone to see a hair pop out of their follicle for us it will take so much longer it could take like a year or so so when i went to go see my trichologist he even said to me he was like your hairs haven't fallen out overnight so don't expect them to come back overnight and i was like okay I get that, but like average, how long do you think it could take for them to come back? He was like, it could be a couple of years. I was like, a couple of years? That was like a year ago, actually. So, I mean, we're halfway there if he did say on average. So if I am based on that average, then we have another year to go to see how my hair goes, which reminds me, I should actually go see him to see if there's been any difference. But anyway, so that's the anagen phase, right? So that's where the growing starts. And for us, it's just, a lot longer. Then we've got the transition phase. Um, so here it says like, um, basically hair follicles shrink and the hair growth starts showing. So again, like this will be um, a lot longer down the timeline for people with pattern hair loss. Um, and it basically like separates from the bottom of the follicle so that it can show. Um, and it like detaches itself, which then brings me into the next stage, which is a resting phase that's where your hair strand will basically rest within the follicle. So as it's resting, right, so it's detached. So as it's detached from the follicle itself, there'll be like a new hair like underneath trying to grow. And um, so that's part of the resting stage, which is the telogen. And then the one that I can't pronounce is that exogen, exogen. Oh my God, did I just call it exogen? What the hell? Uh, do you know what I might do? Um, do you know on Google when you can? Um, like, I'm gonna do it now with you. Do you know when you can type it in? 
<laughs> I am ridiculous. How do you pronounce? Exogen. Exogen. What is Exogen. Oh, I, I wasn't. I wasn't too far off, to be honest. All right, exogen. All right, shut up now. Bloody hell. All right, I get it. Like the exogen stage. Right. Isn't it amazing what you can find on the internet? Anyway, um, the exogen stage, uh, which is your shedding phase. Um, and basically, <coughs> that one just speaks for itself. The exogen stage is where your hair shedding starts. That's the that's the part of the cycle where, do you know, like if you're having like more um, hair loss than usual on like certain days, it could be because like some of your hair uh, follicles are going through the exogen stage. God, I have to think about that. Uh, how to pronounce it again? Um, and apparently, right on average, you went to through this stage. The average person is supposed to see fifty to hundred hair strands fall out, which sounds like so much, right? But anyway, they're the four stages of the cycle. Um, I hope that's helped somewhat understand. Ugh. I hope that's helped you guys somewhat understand a bit more of the cycle um, and when our hair falls you can think about perhaps your hair's in that part of the cycle or in a certain part of it um, and for my fellow pattern hair loss people out there we just end up falling into that first stage of the cycle for so much longer than everybody else because we're special that's why but um, yeah i hope that's helped you guys if you've got any questions please drop them below don't forget to hit the subscribe button and keep up with my videos if there's anything like in, in particular that you would like me to talk about then just let me know and um yeah have a beautiful week guys and i will see you soon bye